In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to design experiments, specifically spinners. You'll be doing other ones, but I'll show you how to do spinners. So here's your title, Designing Experiments. And I have to do it out in the real world because uh, it's really hard to do it on the computer. Um, and so the first thing that you are going to make sure that you need to have is a cup. It doesn't need to be a red solo, solo cup, but it needs to be a cup with a nice circular spot and a pencil. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to make perfect circles first. Ready? I've got my paper taped to the wall. Don't draw on the wall. And I'm going to put it down. And then I'm going to hold it from the top. And then I'm going to hold my pencil from the end here. It makes it easier. Well, that's step one. I, I don't think you can see that at all. But I can see it because I did it in pencil. And then step two, grab my handy getting marker. And I'm going to trace it very carefully. over top of the circle and now you can see it awesome right okay so i'm going to show you how to do um to design three spinners so i'm going to be um using the colors blue red and green so the first example is design then color a spinner so that landing on red is less likely than landing on green so we can include co other colors in there if we want but we definitely need to make sure that Landing on red is less likely. So I am going to go red is less. And that means that green is more. Um, and so I'm going to take and I'm going to, uh, so I'll do red first. So red has to be less likely. So we'll put this red. I'm just going to have to imagine a, a center because a spinner has a spot right here. And then that means the rest can be green, or I could put some blue in there too, it doesn't matter. I could put all of this green. All of it green. You can see that. There we go, you can see that now. All of this red. And then I'll just color the rest of this blue. There we go. So it satisfies. Red is less likely than landing on blue. Right there. Green is blue. I mean green. <laughs> green is way bigger than red. All right. So the purpose for the purposes of this video, just so that it's not so long, I'm not going to fully color in my, my spinners. Um, but you definitely need to color in your spinners. I'll even color mine in after the video. It's just <laughs> going to make it too long. Okay. So next one is design and color a spinner so that landing on red and landing on green are equally likely. And this is gonna be super easy. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna forget about blue and I'm just gonna draw a line down the center and then I'll just outline it. That's gonna be red. And what color? Green. It'd be green, I almost picked blue again. <laughs> Okay, and then I'll color it all in. So they have to be equal, and they're equally likely. And the last one, example three, design and color a spinner so that landing on red is more likely than landing on green or blue. So red has to be the most. So I'm gonna make red. Now you always need to make it go through, the like I couldn't draw red like a cross eye, that's weird. No, can't do that. You have to always make it go through the center, so like, Put a center there. See, I put there. Yep. And then I can go like this. There we go. Okay. I'm going to make this complex, this one. That's going to be red. That's not a very good center. It's hard to see it when it's on sideways for me. 
that's going to be red. We're going to make this one right here green. And we're going to make this one blue. And then I would color it in properly. But I don't want you to sit here watching me color for five minutes. So that is the basics of what you're going to do. You're going to look at what needs to be more and what needs to be less. Read the question probably more than once to make sure that you understand it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to be drawing the spinners on paper in real life. And then you're going to be taking pictures of it. I'll, I'll make another video for how to do that. But that's what you're going to be doing. It's going to be fun. Get your markers or pencil crayons on your, or your crayons, whatever you want. Uh, markers are always more fun, but make sure you put a paper underneath if you are using markers that bleed. Have fun.